Well, hey, we're in a series called Centered, and it's all about having a Christ-centered worldview, and we're using these videos to take that material and learn how to share that faith with others. And this one specifically is about how to make the most of opportunities. Now, we're looking at what Paul says to the church at Colossae about how to share your faith, and this is from chapter 4, uh, verse 4 and following. So, be wise, it says, in the way you act towards outsiders, making the most of every opportunity. Now, the first thing uh, with being told to be wise implies it's possible to do the opposite, which is to be foolish. And now, there can be a right way and a wrong way to handle sharing your faith. Now, he will talk about the wise manner and disposition in a minute, but his first coaching is to be wise by making the most of the opportunities that you have. Now, this is pretty telling. It's not always wise to share your faith in any and every context. Uh, Jesus didn't even do that. However, there are great opportunities where it fits, and, and be aware of those, sensitive to those. And that's why we said in the second installment, prayer is the foundation for faith sharing, because we're told we're supposed to be praying for open doors. But I also need to pray to have the insight to see open doors when they present themselves. Otherwise, I miss the opportunity. And the very nature of opportunities is they often don't come back and give you a second chance. Now, as I reflected on life, I've seen myself succeed in ways I feel good about and fail in ways that I'm embarrassed by when it comes to opportunities. Now, just recently, I had two great opportunities to share, and I forfeited both of them, and I hate that, and they're not coming back. Now, oftentimes, opportunities come in the form of trouble in someone's life. That doesn't mean if there's trouble, you rush in and do like some full gospel presentation, but you stay tuned uh, you know, for our coachings on that stuff, but it does mean that you can speak meaningfully into someone's life when you're there for them and sensitive to what they're going through and you can relate who Jesus is to their situation. Now, I told a big story at the beginning of the series where uh, we had a scare, my family and I did, uh, on board a cruise ship that I was on. And I had two different people tell me they thought they were going to die. Now, both of those were obvious great opportunities that to my complete aggravation with myself, I really didn't follow up very well and ask them about the nature of that fear or their beliefs about the afterlife, things along that line. Now, other times in my life, I've not missed the opportunity. <laughs> this time I did. You don't want that. Uh, I don't want that. I know what I've missed, there's been this twofold problem. I hesitate probably out of fear, but the fear also comes from imagining I have to do some big conversion evangelist moment on them. Uh, now, when I'm thinking clearly, I need to give myself permission by opening a door a little wider just by asking a question. Uh, how they respond is anyone's guess, but the easiest way to start is with a question where they can, uh, they can talk about things. Now, if someone says they thought they were going to die, a simple question would have been, well, if that happens, do you believe in an afterlife? Uh, now, I've learned that asking a question, which is something Jesus did a lot, by the way, it helps give you insight into where else they are, and it can give you other things to talk about. You don't have to have some canned speech ready, because Jesus, in all of his conversations, he never quite does the same thing twice. There's a lots of different ways to go about sharing your faith, but a great way is just to, uh, just to ask a question and let people speak. I have done that in the past. I haven't done that the past, but what I want to do is be ready and look for, because Paul says, be wise in the way you act towards outsiders, making the most of every single opportunity that you have. And we're going to talk about that in practical terms as we travel. See you next time.